What is this? Trumpeter is available. Cool. Well, it's evening now. Who to talk to? There's some farewells for people who are just gone off. I guess we'll check out what Jungo's doing. Oh, did you come to see my kitten? I did. Me too. I just wanted to make sure he was doing all right. He was with another cat. He seems okay, but he spotted me and tried to come over. I think he still remembers me. You saw him an hour ago. I looked after him? That's not what happened. He saved me. What do you mean? Being together with him made me so happy. Even with everything messed up, see? That's like I said. He saved me. I'm glad for Polaris. If she didn't want to destroy us, I'd have never met my kitten. That's why I'll keep this world safe. This is where you and he live. <laughs> we should go. If he follows me, he'll be in danger. Maybe I'll come back and see him when it's all over. Hmm. You should adopt him. My kitten and me? Living together? That would be... amazing. We should go. After everything's peaceful again, then let's come back. Bye-bye. For now. Oh, that was enough to max him out. You're in the main team. You deserve it, buddy. We can now make Omitsunu. Hmm. Uh, next up, I guess we'll talk to you. We should try and get you to five. Mom? Dad? I'm okay now. You don't need to worry about me. Yo, I've got some news. Your parents are dead. What you doing? Oh, I didn't see you there. I was talking to my parents. They're dead. I wanted to tell them I'm okay. And I'll go on living for them. <sighs> they were always telling me to express myself more. I thought they were wrong. That it was better to keep quiet than risk making enemies. Yeah, it sounds like you. I guess you noticed then. Remember when I talked to that boy before? The one who wanted to end it all? I told him how I felt. I stood by my own opinions. And it changed his mind. He wanted to live. It's all thanks to you. In the end, I'm perfect. You've been <laughs> there, encouraging me every step of the way. Ah... Uh. That's not going to change. You're worthless without me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm still counting on you. I love that there's the cannon line and then the added KZ caveat at the end. Maybe after we save the world, you and I could... Uh, um, that's nothing. The answer is no. Well, I... The answer is no. I appreciate it, but no. My options here are Fumi, but we're not super close. And, um, Makoto, and that's pretty alright. And, uh, if all else fails, I will let, I will wait like five years for, five or six years for Irie. Some may say, but KZ, she'll be legal after three. That's bad form. <laughs> you wait a little bit longer. Like, get her close to drinking age at least, you know, before you attempt to swoop in. Because if you're sniping when they turn 18, you still look like a fucking creep. Um, that's just me, man. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll hang out with Ronnie. What's up, Ronnie? 
Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Please. Liar. You don't deserve to go free. Yeah. Why should you get to live while my daughter doesn't? Let it happen. Hey, what's going on? You bastards! What the hell are you doing? Back off! This guy's a wanted criminal! What? He's a thief! I saw him on TV! He deserves to die! No, you're wrong. What? If you want to hurt him, you have to get past me first. What the hell? We probably shouldn't fight that guy. He looks pretty buff. <laughs> what an idiot. Pretty buff. Some kind of hero, huh? Thanks, you. You saved my life. Get lost. I wasn't saving you. I was stopping them. I'd never approve of what they were doing, but you are still a criminal. But... Didn't you hear me? Get out of here. Uh, right. You were watching, weren't you? Good people die while thieves get to live. It's hard to take in. Do I have to accept it? I'm not sure. I guess no one knows. Sorry, that was a foolish question. In time, I'll come to forgive you. They were acting like monsters. It's not right. It's not justice. It's not my call to make anymore. After losing to you, the world rests in your hands. Ah, oh, what else is there? See what, uh, see what Fumi's doing. Hey there, I'm busy. Can this wait? Ah. Oh. Multiplying the vectors across a spectral range in conjunction with the multiple waveforms present. Ah, uh, of course, absolute zero. Hmm? Oh, hey, when did you get here? What you doing? I'm doing research. What did you expect? But I expect that this experiment will take longer. By my approximation, maybe a year? Give or take a few minutes. Hmm, why don't you take a break? Does Thermo take a break from dynamics? There's always things to research. Not that I care all that much about the ramifications. It's all about the research. Like, before all this, I wasn't doing research because we were at peace. That doesn't matter. To do what you want, regardless of the world outside, that's the way to live. Was I talking too much? I'd had a good idea, which probably released dopamine and... Oh, that reminds me. Shoot, shoot, I'm busy. She, she, she's coming all over her research. She's working real hard over there. Well, there goes that. It's gonna be Nagoya next! Don't be stupid, it's obviously gonna be Osaka. Hey, you, back me up! Nagoya's right in the middle of the country! No way! It's Osaka for sure, right? Nagoya, without a doubt. Ha! He says Nagoya too! Stupid Hina! Defeated. He doesn't know what he's agreeing to. Hey everyone, what's going on? Eo! Hey listen, you know how the world's gonna be remade, right? We should remake the capital too! You want a new... capital? Yep, and it should totally be Nagoya, right? Are you kidding? It has to be Osaka! The new capital of Japan should have some soul! You're on my side, right Eo? I have to choose between Osaka and Nagoya? Um... well... neither! I don't think either would work. Huh? That's not an option! Well, a lot of people would move to whatever city becomes the new capital. If that happens, all the stuff that makes Osaka or Nagoya special will disappear. That would be a little tragic, right? Hmm, you may have a point. I wouldn't want Nagoya to become Tokyo 2.0. You're right! Osaka's soul comes from its rebellious attitude. And bad outfits. Exactly! I think things should stay the way they are. Eo, you've changed. What? Uh, nah, uh Something's different about you. It's very suspicious. What? N nothing suspicious. I swear. Oh, good call. I see it too. That glance she just gave her friend. What? I. 
I think you're on to something, Sherlock Hina. There's more between these two than meets the eye. Indubitably, I, dear Watson. We must obtain a confession at once. All right, fess up. Come clean, you two. You two are dumb. <sighs> ah, turning it around on us, are you? That's even more suspicious. I'm higher level than you, but you'll die. I'll murder you in cold blood right now. All right, I. Let's go. We should let these two exchange sweet nothings alone. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest here, right? Hinako, I don't like you. I would pick you before. I would, I would, I would pick you before. before and that you. better be the only exchanging you two do. You hear me? I got my eye on you. What are you, our mother? <laughs> He's gonna go hide in a trash can and I, I watch think us. There's a misunderstanding here. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll talk to them. <sighs> yeah, please do. Y yeah, I don't want to cause you any <laughs> trouble. I'm ruining her right now. I, I guess I should be on my way then. Ah, uh, she can have Daichi. I guess I should start saying farewell to these people here. Oh, it's you. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Me? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How do you think I'm doing, moron? You won. I lost. I know. I'm very pleased. You know what? Tell me something. I'm strong, right? So how'd I lose to a guy like you? Your heart's weak. Huh? Who are you calling weak-hearted? I'm much stronger than you other losers. Busy clinging desperately onto each other and... Well, don't worry. It was a one-on-one -on -one fight when when, when you, you completely died before. I see. So you didn't beat me. Your whole freaking team did. Huh. That makes me sick. I, gl I like... I like when characters realize that they didn't beat me because of skill they beat me because there were too many dudes i wish i was stronger how though what do i have to do to be stronger lend me your strength huh what do you mean hey if we hang out together do you think i can get stronger than you no idea <laughs> you're right if it was that easy uh, that ain't it I'm way overthinking this. Whatever anyone says, I still like the idea of a merit system. You know, might makes right. Those with the power call the shots. <laughs> what was I even stressing out over? Not interested. Even if you don't care, this is a real big thing for me. I'm just gonna go. You'd better not lose. For my sake, too. Like, I haven't really pointed it out. But the fact to get, like, the game's, like, truly best ending from what I've heard, which I just heard is an additional scene, you've got to get everyone to four. I think getting them to four is way too strict within this game's time limit. Like, I didn't... can't say it was... it was pretty hard to get what I had. I just feel like Atlas games are a bit too strict in their get everyone to the certain point. If it was to three, I think it'd be a bit better. Because there's so many characters, you know what I mean? That are lower their gates. I know I'm going to have somebody saying, I had no problem, I didn't have to use a guide. And I'm like, good for you, man. You you are the greatest person alive. But for the commoners, you got to think of them. Think about the commoners. I'm going to break your neck. <laughs> You're freaking kidding me, right? And I saw with my own eyes. It was Nishikawa. Nishikawa. Well, I'm out of here, man. Gone with the wind. Poof. I don't want to end up like him. Who is this guy? You overheard. Who's Nishikawa? The undefeated bantamweight king. You didn't know? He died yesterday. Hmm. Disappointing. Yeah. I was supposed to be the one to defeat him. He died defending his family. He took on a ton of demons with his bare hands. With reflexes like his, he could have run. Bastard. Even he said bantamweight, I assume he's talking about boxing. Acting like a hero, throwing himself into harm's way. He was always like that, dumbass.
Oh, well, there goes that. We'll see what's going on with Joe. At the Coke store. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? I ran out of world-saving stuff to do, so I figured I'd read some manga. They didn't have this week's Shonen Chump, though. <laughs> Needless to say, I was crushed. I was looking forward to offside goalie Masashi. They were about to start the World Cup arc. <laughs> ah, there's no time for that, my friend. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's just no time to publish manga with the world going down the tubes, right? Wait, they probably can't even make manga at a time like this. Are the manga kai even still alive? I guess it's probably pretty unlikely, huh? So all these stories, all these great tales of heroism and triumph are never going to get the endings they deserve. That's a shame. I'm still sad about Bleach. <laughs> that sucks. We won't see the ends of Summer Striker. I'm just or saying, Eagle some may Gust. not like it, but if they had given that thing like two more volumes to finish off properly, just saying, I feel a little less sad. <laughs> what a downright awful world to live in. Well, I guess it's always been pretty bad. And, uh, see what's going on with you. Do you need me? You look pretty happy, you little shit. Well, yeah, I guess I am. Oh, I I'm really sorry I worried you last time. In some point in time, I will come to forgive you. But look, the concert hall wasn't even touched. Ah, oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, I'm so glad. But, I decided I'm not coming here again. I shouldn't drag it around anymore. Hmm, you mean that scarf of yours? What? I'm not that short. <laughs> I meant my dream of becoming a pianist. Did you forget already? Who are you? I knew all along that worrying wouldn't do me any good. It's just like Makoto said. The way I was, I couldn't have even taken the first step. So I decided not to carry it around any longer. I am thankful to Makoto. And you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I wonder if I've grown a little. Nah. I'm heading off. I'm gonna see what I can do. I've got a new life goal to find. Laters! It's 11 p.m. Go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. Can't end the episode Hello, yet. Hello, Master. Your hard. You're still here. Ah, forgive the intrusion. My prior statement may have caused some slight confusion. My services as a liaison for the death video site Nicaea are no longer required. However, you've already downloaded this application, so of course, it may still be used as you wish. As I am the AI face of this application, I am here to serve you. I will continue to do so until the end of your journey, Master. Now, allow me to begin anew. I have taken the liberty of composing a simple summary of- Would you care to hear- Sure. What did we do today? Understood. After awakening, you first discussed your next step with Master Daichi and the others. You discussed your plans concerning the Nagoya and Osaka factions and, of course, the inevitable Septentrion threat. It was soon discovered that the Osaka faction had invaded Tokyo. You led a stalwart defense and repelled them. From there, you headed for Nagoya. Once you arrived, you routed the Nagoya faction despite the fact that they laid a clever trap for you. Shortly afterwards, Bennett Nash, today's Septentrion, reared its head, so to speak. It was a most devious foe that was able to eliminate any avenue of attack you had. Your assessment that it could not be slain while it retained the pacify human ability was correct. After, you decided to settle matters with the leaders of both opposing factions. You then decided to cancel out Bennett Nash's abilities using special waves of sound. This ploy involved releasing the seal on the mighty demon, Trumpeter. You used his unique abilities to your advantage. The clever stratagem paid dividends, and you 
soundly defeated Bennett Nash. This concludes my overview of the day's events. Well then, may your tomorrow be... Oh, right. There is another important matter I wish to bring to light. In the course of your investigations into the changes abounding in this world over the past seven days, it seems you happened upon knowledge of the existence of the Akashic Record. Uh, yes. If there is anything about it you wish to have clarified, I would be glad to assist. Hmm. Can we restore the world? Restore? Hmm. You wish to access the world's past, now slumbering within the Akashic Record. By doing so, you wish to restore the world from before, uh, prior to the events that led to its present state? It is possible. However, be warned, there are some difficulties. Were you to meet with Polaris and express your wish to restore the world, and should she accept, Polaris would then use that past data to, in essence, overwrite the current state of the world. In less politic words, the world will have learned nothing, and the past will surely repeat its mistakes, which will, inevitably, cause Polaris to send another calamity like the one you have been experiencing. We'll prevent that. Is that so? Then you have my apologies for attempting to warn you off your plan. However, the overwritten data will disappear, including the data of you, as you currently are. Thus, you will have no memories of these past seven days once the world has been restored. This is interesting because I don't think the Akashic Record learning about that was forced. Like, it seemed optional, so is there like a split path? I guess that's what's going on. Even if your heart is strong enough to reject the data overwrite, multiple sets of data in one world are dangerous. Any corruption of your data may erase every trace of your existence. Hmm. Is that absolutely certain? Not absolutely, no. But the odds of your survival are negligible. You will need an exceptionally strong will to reject the overwrite and keep your memories, even should you survive and maintain your memory. The question remains, can you prevent another calamity? There is no easy solution. That is all I can say for sure. May your tomorrow be a nice day as well. I think we can figure something out here. Ugh. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me switch. My back hurts. Gotta suck it up. After I finish, she sent me this picture. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I'm glad the f fighting is finally behind us. <laughs> well, I've got some bad news about that. Tomorrow we'll take on the world together. I'm so glad Jungo's okay. Yeah, we'll we'll visit Jungo together at some point. It'll be fine. I might as well save while I'm here. Yes. Sunday's fruition towards a tomorrow of dreams. <laughs> okay. You don't need to add any. Did they not want to write that? Was that an ad lib? Anguish one, you're weird. Yo, rise and shine. Did man. we wake up late? It's ten. Okay. Um hmm. I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah, you're awake. That joke's gone stale. I've not made that joke yet. Fuck off. Everyone's up and gathered in the command room already. You better get moving. I'm gonna eat your bones. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Everyone's been waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Today we meet Polaris at last. Ye. Yeah. We've beaten all the Septentrions. Yep, no shit. Uh, wait a sec. How about that? Did you guys hear what Tico said yesterday? About us disappearing? Yeah. Even if we can keep our memories, that could be a huge problem. I heard that too. How it's nearly certain that we'll cease to exist. So what do we do? If our memories or existence get wiped, this could all happen again. I don't want the world to be destroyed again. Hmm. Restoring the world's all well and good, but of course there's a catch. Going that route could be a huge gamble. 
We need to know for sure we can win. There's another issue that must be solved first. Dube, Merak, Fekta, Magrez, Alioth, Mizar, and Benetnash. We've defeated a total of seven Septentrions to this point. If they are indeed based on the Big Dipper, the one yesterday would have been the last. However, nothing has changed since defeating Benetnash. Isn't it rather odd? Let's search for Polaris. Polaris might be here already, somewhere outside our notice. Since you're awake now, I suggest we continue searching the area as we discussed. Yeah, I guess that's the only choice. But still. Still what? Is something bothering you? Oh, no, it's, it's not bothering me. I just... I wonder if I'm the only one who feels this way. What are you talking about? We won't know unless you actually say something. Uh, you guys don't mind hearing me out? Hmm. We want to hear. Yeah, hurry it up. You look like you've actually got something important to say. You guys are so mean, but... Fine, here goes. This all started because of Polaris, right? Well, yeah. What about it? Well, everyone's trying to reshape this world by drawing on Polaris's power. Doesn't that seem strange? Why? No, I think he's on to something. Polaris created this situation in the first place. Asking a thing like that to remake the world just doesn't seem right. Y you see? I mean, if Polaris hadn't done this, we'd still be living normal lives. It's like... Wouldn't we have been better off if Polaris didn't exist at all? Hmm. I don't know if that'd be better. Well, no one does. I can't even remember if the old world was peaceful or not anymore. But at the very least, I'm pretty damn sure it was better than it is now. They really want to push you into killing Polaris. Would killing Pol Polaris fix this? Kill Polaris? Hey, that's it! That's exact. Uh, hold on a sec. Polaris is the I world's minister. I guess we're going to kill it. Uh, we know. So what? You don't see how it could be bad to kill the thing that manages the world? We have no idea what would happen if we defeated this administrator. Hmm, that's true. Well, whatever we go with, we need to decide soon. Yeah, I don't know. We should kill the ad the admin of the world. Shown path is available. Underlying cause and swallowed world. Let's go. We can squeeze this in before I end the episode. Ah, you've come. I've been waiting for you, Shining One. You've been gone for like a day. I came to talk to you. I know. The time to make your choice has come. You have unified the will of the species, yes? This decision will determine the fate of your world. Answer my next question carefully. Now then, Shining One, tell me your will. Ah, nice. Restoring the world. If you ask Polaris to restore the world, your past and present data will conflict. If you are too weak to retain your memories, the world will fall into the same mistakes. You understand the risk? We'll be alright. Yeah. We just have to hang on to our memories, right? We won't let this happen again. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. We hold so many precious memories of the time we spent together. It'll be fine. We've overcome so many ordeals. This is just one more. Yeah! We've worked so hard these past eight days so we'd be ready for this moment. There is another risk. If you have strength enough to retain your memories, the stronger that power, the more it will conflict with the force of the overlap. The present and past data will clash, and in the worst case, your existence is in jeopardy. Do you understand the potential consequences? We won't lose. We'll be fine. We've got all that potential, right? There's no way we'll be erased. Mm-hmm. I won't disappear. I'm stronger than my past self. Hurry up. Neither him nor I have need of your tedious babbling. <laughs> I see. 
then I will say no more. It is time to test your true strength. How? Now, let's begin. <gasps> it's Black Frost! I'm Black Frost. Nice to meet you. Now die screaming in hell! <laughs> no. That's a rather harsh welcome. Does that make you an enemy after all? You misunderstand. I have no intention of getting in your way, but your path is painful and arduous. That is why I wish for you to show me you have the power and resolve to come through. We have the strength. Then let's begin. Defeat all that stands before you and return silence to this place. like we have to fight what does he mean by testing us I guess we have to concentrate on fighting first we have to defeat those demons he's testing us with demons like these what a joke prepare for battle defeat all demons all right it's not just black frost Recarm loss, life drain, piercing hit, nothing super cool. Nothing I care to get. Get over here, I'm gonna have you kill the Ariok. I'm pretty sure that thing with his big old tongue has range, if I remember previous failures. go with you, and you will deal with him. Yeah, he's got Chaos Breath and Evil Flow. Fucking no. 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 Absolutely not. Out of everything here, that's, that's gonna be big ol' no for me. Burr, it's cold. Birds cold. Feel the light of God. Ah, that's a good first fight. Probably after this episode, I'm gonna do another grinding session again, because these things caught up pretty damn well. It seems like we definitely need to start preparing, because we're also on the last day. This is where all the bullshit's gonna come out. We gotta finish this right. Please don't let Grendel go first. Ah, uh, fuck, he went first. That's the worst news. Uh, don't take away Eo's turn? Oh my god, I don't like you. I'm going to need you to kill it. I'm going to need you to kill it. Today? Good. Okay. Jun goes in pursuit. The messenger of love and justice has arrived. Time for some magical punishment with the star emoji. Frosty. What are you saying? You must have me confused with somebody else. Ah, oh, that little shit. I fucking hate you. <laughs> At least I can hit the Sabaris. Sabaris? <laughs> Sabaris? I'm an idiot. Let's go. Uh, first thing is admitting you have a problem, and I have. You can't avoid all of them. <laughs> the assassination attempt worked out. 
That's a bit of a problem, though. Look, look at Dib. <laughs> he's, he's 80. <laughs> Why is he 80? What? Why? What the fuck? Oh no. This is bad. I, um, oh, 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 he didn't do a lot of damage, but that's 80. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dude. When I see something like 15 levels above me like that, I tend to get scared. I may have lost this time, but don't forget about me. Oh. It's okay, I'll try and fuse you later, maybe. Probably not, but, you know, I'll think about it. Okay. More, more casual looking dudes, like uh, Gukumats and Rangda. This is a bit more my speed. I can set you on fire. I can assassin. No, I cannot. <laughs> I just looked at what you guys have. I can, I can assassinate someone on the side. Then I can shock you. And then you can fucking ruin all of my plans. Don't you dare let Eo go first. Don't you let Eo go first. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 She's dead. Why are they focusing the left? This AI is fucking brain dead. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and marry Karen. You see, our goal is to make sure that, um, we don't know what we're doing. So I did zero damage that turn. Did you notice that? I'm so glad I put that on her. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna... We're gonna do this. That'll be our big change. God, why do you always go first? You fucking cunts. Why do you have to miss? I just straight up cannot do anything against this group with her. She has like the worst set for it. Like it is absurd how absolutely horrid she does against that that specific group. Like to she is comical levels of bad. Whatever, this Rakshasa will just go for it. I mean, I appreciate it binding me, because it's under the ins under the assumption that I am gonna be like, oh no, I gotta leave. I don't. F I'm not. A <laughs> I have no plans. You got me for the whole weekend, baby. We can go all night. Take that. Your elephants can leave. <laughs> like you can fucking keep your elephants. Can I do it if I go, like, here? Son of a bitch. I actually can't reach. You just need to leave. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting my own fucking time if I use you. Oh my god. Oh, just kill her. Just kill her. Fucking... You can't. They're... You know, they might, they might not have enough magic for it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a Fung's Glide try. Bop! Oh, okay, cool. They didn't do it this time.
I'm glad I gave it a good old try. That other one, though. <laughs> that other one's a problem. Yeah, I'm just, I'm short by, like, one. That's in my range, right? That's just a wall there. It's fine, right? Huh. <laughs> no, no. Yamato, what is going on? Dude, what are you doing? Man, it's uh, getting pretty cold here. <laughs> it's like, fucking, you're useless. Fine. I was, I was thinking about something earlier. Why the fuck is Kata so terrible? You know, you know, he just seems like a worse version of, Ka um, of Kaido. If you remember uh, Devil Survivor 1, Kaido was basically that character only interesting. <laughs> and I liked him. He was a fucking bro. If you could, like, switch characters around from this game and the other one, we could, we could, we could get something going, man. Like, we could, we could really just, like, we could get, like, a really good goulash going, I'd be all down. Like, we could really build a dream team of characters KZ's do down with. Anyway, fuck that shit, we win. Hello, I, I, I did it. I win. Amazing. The powers you have fostered over these last eight days are real. We've defeated the demons. Please, tell us about Polaris. Not yet, humans. All the Septentrions must be defeated before the path can... Are you fucking kidding me? How many are left? The next will be the last. But the last will require Why all... Why is there another strength. one? Take a hint, game. I don't care. The last one. Where is it? You will use what you call the terminal to go where Polaris awaits. The one you currently have is too weak and cannot harness the required power. First, you must find a way to strengthen the terminal. Are you saying that you know how to strengthen our terminals? <laughs> I have no hints to give. You're almost there. Good luck. Uh, he's gone. I still don't understand who he is. I know, right? What's with that guy? Let's focus on the big picture, though. There's going to be another Septentrion. Ah, well, it's your best. Dude, too soon for optimism. I was pretty sure we were going to die fighting big old Benny yesterday. What if it's stronger than that? Do we even have a chance? We're going up against Polaris after it. Is fighting it our like. only choice? For now, maybe we should focus on strengthening the terminal. Hmm. He said we can't meet Polaris if we don't make the terminal strong. Yeah, I guess. How are we gonna do that, though? Ah, we made it this far and we still got a crap load of stuff to think about. New email. Black Frost? Black Frost. Uh, we can waste more time, but I want to check and see if he's fusible now. Or if he's uh, further down. He's probably in the 80s, I'd, I'd bet. All the cool shit's starting to pop up, though. Orochi, Fenrir, Anat. Ball, ooh, 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 you're the, you're the, you're the dude that I got from getting Yamato to five. You are a deity. Enlightenment reduces MP cost to 25%, gives me 50% more. This is a fucking good ass dude to get. And I can get him with Loki and uh, Tauti, 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 tap, 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 tap. All right, here's what we'll do. We will. uh these have been longer videos, by the way. I, I didn't really preface it, but I've just been doing that more. Because we're toward the end, and I'm sure people want us to get to it. So, I hope people are enjoying that. It certainly makes my job harder, but I, as you know, don't give a shit so long as we can, you know, keep up this pace. So, uh, we're gonna... 
We're gonna make that thing. We're gonna make ball. I think that might be a good idea. We can give him increased limit on stat bonuses. No. We can give him more strength. Fuck it. We'll just do it like this. Megidola own. Uh, Maziodine. And Meteorahan. I can get you guys back later. Yes, Deity Ball. Alright, that's it for today's episode. Next time on Devil Survivor 2, I'm gonna do my last grinding session until the game tells me that I'm too weak for the rest of the game and then I have to grind again. Until then.